Welcome along to your Friday Eve. Happy Thursday to you. Meteorologist Richard Nunn here with your forecast. Now on Alexa and newsforjacks.com. The top story continues. Tropical Storm Cindy making landfall near Port Arthur, Texas, just between Port Arthur and Cameron, Louisiana. Now the story is going to turn to the rainfall and the potential for tornadic activity as she continues to move north towards Shreveport and then an arcing right-hand turn that will take her through southwestern, southeastern rather, Arkansas, and eventually into Memphis, Tennessee, and possibly into the Carolinas as it will continue to weaken in the coming hours and coming days. Forecast for today, we've got that southeasterly flow. That's directed by high pressure. Daytime highs are moving up as we'll see some more sunshine out there, 91 degrees, but we'll start a trend. It was yesterday and will continue today and through the weekend where it will feel like those triple digits. The models have continued to show that drier air having a big influence on our forecast. And by that, I'm talking about limited in the way of rainfall. For today, a 40% chance, mainly along the Seabreeze front, which will be between 301 and up to about the western portion of I-95. Some of these could drift back to the beaches. And Friday, even drier yet, as the high pressure remains a dominant feature. The 40% today will give way to a 20% chance for those showers and storms on Friday. Saturday's forecast, as little as a 10% chance as we continue with the triple digit heat index. Still hot on Sunday, but Sunday brings back the wet weather changes late in the afternoon and evening, possibly around the time that the Armada will be taking the field. We'll have those showers and storms coming through, and that trend will continue into the start of the work week. That's your forecast on Alexa at newsforjacks.com and, of course, right here on Channel 4.